How do you can have a better understanding? 不行，我这发音只能用我的发音啊，不标准。<笑>
everyone, welcome to I Chongqing's channel. This is this is the this is another episode of I Chongqing's live stream. As you can see, we are having a session with the university. It's called Chongqing University of Posts and Telecommunication. We're having a session with the representatives from the university. First of all, I will introduce all the guests joined today. So the gentleman next to me is President Gao Xiaobo. He is the president of the university. And the second, and the lady next to the gentleman is Miss Zhang. She is mainly in charge of the admission for international students. And uh, another lady next to me is Natalia. She is the she is the international students currently studying in the university. So um, today we will share the information of admission for international students. So if you are gonna study in China and you have no idea which city to choose. So Chongqing might be an ideal place for you. And in Chongqing, we have many good universities. Chongqing University of Communication, Chongqing University of Posts and Communications is one of them. So uh, today's session will be include, today's session will include three parts. First, um, Miss, Mr. Gao will introduce the university and also the program for international students. And of course, the scholarship policy is for you. I, I know you guys need this information badly. And second, we will have a question and answer session. So Miss Zhang will answer all the questions you leave in our common area. So dear viewers, feel free. So dear viewers, feel free to leave any comments in our common area, anything you are curious about, whether it's about the life in the university or the academic research about the university, just leave anything in the comment area. We will come for you. So um, second or uh, third, I will have a mini interview with Natalia. So you guys may have a glimpse of how the university life will be like when you come here to study in Chongqing University of Posts and Telecommunications. So without, without further ado, I will play a video for you so you guys can have a look about how beautiful this campus looks like. And um, the video is coming. Seventy years ago, New China strategically distributed her post and telecommunication education in seven cities, which shone like the seven stars of the Big Dipper in the eastern sky. Since her inception, Chongqing University of Posts and Telecommunications, now known as the birthplace of China's digital communications and the cradle of information and telecommunications, has shared a common fate with the nation and has both witnessed and catalyzed the rise of national information and telecommunication industry. Today, as China regains her vigor, CQUPT also forges ahead into an I-era and envisions a digital future. From hand-cranked phones to program-controlled exchanges, from analog communications to digital communications, from 3G to 5G, and from the industrial internet to artificial intelligence, CQUPT has left indelible marks on the development course of China's information and communication technologies. Today, CQUPT has developed into a high-level university with unique strength in information technology. It has made significant contributions to China's telecommunication and information industries, having been widely acknowledged both at home and abroad. CQUPT is the birthplace of China's first 24-channel, 3032-channel pulse encoder, and 120-channel multiplexing equipment and supporting instruments that complied with ITU standards. CQUPT participated in the formulation of the first Chinese standard TDSCDMA in the field of mobile communication and developed the world's first TDSCDMA mobile phone and baseband chip, 
making outstanding contributions to the indigenous innovation and development of mobile communications in China. Today, a scientific and technological innovation team led by world-class experts such as academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Chinese Academy of Engineering and the Yangtze River Scholars and a teaching team comprised of famous excellent teachers represented by teaching model Huang Danian are continuing to make breakthroughs in the fields like broadband wireless communications, cloud computing and big data, the industrial internet, intelligent robots, microsensing systems, and smart medical system. CQUPT's disciplines such as engineering and computer science have entered the top 1% according to the ESI International Rankings. Over the past 70 years, CQUPT's Vine traditions have been passed on from generation to generation. Following the motto, morality, erudition, truth, and innovation, CQUPT will keep stick to initial aspiration of strengthening moral education in building up global competence. CQUPT has always focused on the national major strategic needs and strive to keep abreast of the cutting edge development of science and technology worldwide. The CQUPT dream of developing the world first class discipline cluster of big data and intelligence will keep pace with the Chinese dream of realizing the great rejuvenation of the nation. Types of resource and talents are following the two rivers singing to gather at CQUPT. The stars are shining above mountain Nan Shan and we are looking forward to a bright future. Hello, welcome back. And um, as we as we just watched the video, and I can see many viewers are commenting in our comment area. Welcome to our channel, and thank you for your time. And thank you for staying with us. Uh, let's see. There's so many greetings. Um, like Hector, welcome here. Gaynoda. So you must from like Spanish Spanish speaking countries. Welcome here and annual. And Anil, welcome. I think uh, you are new to our live stream studio. And Ten X, hello, nice, hello, nice to be here. So uh, Ten X, if you are interested in a university, you can like uh, stay with us, so you will know more about this university. Maybe we will see you in the near future in Chongqing. And uh, call me Ander. Wow, <laughs> hello. And I can see another like a uh, Spanish comment. So it's like, like uh, we are really having many friends and viewers from Spanish speaking countries. Um, for example, this one, Asamblosa Tecno Tecnologia. Sorry for my like poor Spanish. Palace La Diedra and like how many años? Uh, I think this comment means like amazing technology. I think this land or this area has 50 years history. Extende spectacular. Spectacular. Yeah, really spectacular. Thank you for your blessings. Feliz dia. Mm -hmm. And um, Bobo, welcome here. Bobo Dudu, your, your, your name is really yeah, cute. Are you accepting new students? What's the most popular major among international students? So uh, as we can see that like, before we start to introduce this university, we have already have many viewers to ask questions. So don't be rushed. And um, uh, your, your questions may be all answered by Mr. Gao's presentation later. So without further ado, we're starting with Mr. Gao. He will introduce the information of this university and the program for international students, or so the scholarship policies. So you guys may be, uh, may uh, have more clue about how to study here and how to apply for this university. So Mr. Gao, could you please introduce yourself a little bit and start your presentation? I'm all yours. Okay, good morning, dear students. Thank you for this opportunity, and I'm very glad to meet you here. I'm Gao Xinbo, 
the president of Chongqing University of Posts and Telecommunications. Hopefully, you can have a better understanding toward us after my introduction. Introduction to CQPT. First of all, let's take a glance of our university. CQPT was founded in 1950. Now it's a national key university of posts and telecommunications. The university is a high level teaching and research university and enjoys a high reputation in the field of information and communication at home and abroad. It's recognized as the birthplace of China's digital telecommunications and the cradle of China's information and communication talents. Second, location of CQPT. I know that the location is one key factor when international students choose their overseas study destination. So it's, let's take a look at where we are. CQPT is located in Chongqing city as the only municipality in Southwest China. It's an important economic and financial center in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. It's a livable city with diverse, diverse cultures where tradition and modernity coexist. Our campus is nestled in mountain Nanshan, a forest park surrounded by greeneries and flowers, which helps to get away from the city's hustle and bustle, an ideal place for studying, researching, and living. Third, students, faculty, and research conditions. Currently, there are 28,000 students enrolled in our university including about 600 international students from 30 countries like Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Russia, and so on. We have over 2,100 teaching staff, among whom 870 are with senior titles and over 900 supervisors for postgraduate students. And we have built more than 60 key laboratories, engineering research centers, and humanities and social sciences bases. So our students can enjoy a high quality teaching and research condition. Fourth, feature the disciplines and the majors. If you want to be professional in engineering in the future, CQPT can be your first choice. Our engineering and computer science disciplines are in the top of the ESI globally re ranking. And we are proud that the information and communication engineering is in the top 70 globally. Apart from engineering, we also have 17 schools across the different disciplines, covering science, literature, law, arts, economics, and management. So programs and courses across different disciplines and areas are available for our students. Fifth, students' activities. Each year, we will organize many students' activities on different subjects. For example, we have innovation competitions, international cultural festivals, city tours, sports meeting, and museum visits. Both domestic and international students take part in these activities to enrich their school life and to promote a mutually, mutual understanding. Six, graduates development. Another issue that students may concern is the development after graduation. Since we established a close relationship with famous enterprises such, such as China Telecom, China Mobile, Huawei, Tencent jointly carried out talent training cooperation with IT leading enterprises and departments and conducted international cooperation and exchanges with 90 universities and research institutes. 
So most of our graduates are with promising career and academic opportunities. According to the data we collected, over 60% of our graduates enrolled in top 500 enterprises at home and abroad. And some successfully applied for world first class universities to continue their educations. Seventh, programs and scholarship. For the upcoming academic year, we offer two doctoral programs, 15 master programs, 17 undergraduate programs, and the Chinese language study program for international students. To encourage outstanding students to come to study with us, we offer three types of scholarship. They are Chinese government scholarship, Chongqing municipal government scholarship, and CQPT president scholarship. Conclusion. We welcome students from all over the world come and study with us. Looking forward to meet you at CQUPT at Mountain Nanshan. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gao. Thank you, Mr. Gao. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was a wonderful presentation. As far as I know that the university is located in a mountain. You guys, if you come to Chongqing, you'll find Chongqing is a mountainous city. So if you if you go to university in the mountains, you will enjoy a very like different life. First of all, you can you can you can have the city vibrancy life, you know, to uh to have fun in the city center. And when you like finish having fun, you can go back to university, you can enjoy the tranquility of the nature. That is the charm of this city and the university is located in the mountains that was that was very unique location so i think that's the first point that i'm so impressed by the university and uh, as i can see in the common area there are also many viewers are talking they are even chatting in the common area and they also have many questions so let's check one by one mm. I can see uh, so many viewers. So uh, I think you guys need to see this. Um, this is this is this comment is from Yazan Salamian. So um, he said, "I applied to the mayor's scholarship. Hope to hear from you soon. Very excited to be a part of this great university." So so far, we already have our you know um, uh, we have our new mem just, new yeah. members of this community commenting in the common area welcome here welcome to our channel and uh we will see you soon in chongqing in chongqing university of post and telecommunications um we, we also have comments from pakistan so uh so this this gentleman said i'm from pakistan so um how are you? <laughs> How are you, Tala? Have you applied for uh, for the scholarship of the university? If you have trouble applying for the scholarship or the program, you can email us, you can contact us. We will help you sort, sort all the things out. And um, so uh, except greetings, we have some really uh, really important questions that may be concerned by most of the students who are going to apply for the study in this university. So, Ms. Zhang, so um, so uh, next part is going to be your stage. Uh, I will read all the comments so you can answer the questions to, to make all the viewers know there is a way out. There's no problem so they can apply for the university study more smoothly, okay? Sure, sure. Um, so uh, here we go. Uh, we can put, we, we, we're, we're gonna put all the questions on the screen. If you are concerned about this question, you can listen to the answers of Ms. Zhang. So first, um, first, Bobo Dudu, wow, this cute name appears again. Uh, I don't know uh, whether she or he is asking that, are you accepting new students 
and what's the most popular major among international students? Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Kony Zhang, and I'm the admission officer from CQPT. Now, I will respond to the mostly ask ask it questions mm -hmm. to to your uh, questions. Okay. So the first one. Yeah, we are recruiting new students, and we welcome students from all over the world to come and study with us. And uh, for the most popular majors, the first one should be computer science and the cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. And the second is the most advanced major from our university, that is communication, information communication mm -hmm. engineering. Uh, and third, we have management science and logistics uh, engineering. Uh, these are the most popular uh, majors among international students. Well, uh, we can see that um, the most popular majors are about science and technology. So if you are a technology geek, feel free to study here. You will learn many advanced technologies and skills, and you can like in enjoy all the international seminars and events. Well, this is typical. This is definitely a chance for you to you know, get into the world of technology, especially in the area of posts and telecommunications. As the name indicated, we are the university, we are Chongqing University of Posts and Telecommunications. Um, so next, um, next question is, as a foreign student, I really enjoy Chinese culture. I have uncountable number of friends and most of them want to visit my country to experience the outside part of the world. Well, uh, this was well, so nice to hear that 10X. Yeah, uh, you know, when you are studying in China, you are not only get contact, you not not get touch with, or you, you are not only make friends with Chinese people. We also have foreign friends from different countries. So you can communicate and exchange your ideas and you can see different backgrounds of culture. Uh, that's true. So if you study here, you can make friends also with foreign students. You can like make, make friends. You can even visit their countries later when you, when you guys get connected. Um, thank you for that comment. Um, so we will see another question uh, here. Is there any canteen for Muslims at university? So, um, so I think this this question is very uh, connected to our daily life, especially for the students who have religion. Yeah, of course. We have one Muslim canteen called Da Xibei in the middle area of our campus. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, we are equipped with kitchens in mm -hmm. our international students' dormitory. Wow. So students can cook by themselves in the dormitory. Well, wow, that's a bonus yeah, <laughs> because, sure. yeah, that's really a bonus because, uh, you know, when I was in university, we don't have any kitchen in, the, in our dorm. So for the students who have really, who, who have beliefs, especially the Muslim, um, we know that they have cultural difference and they have to obey all the rules of their religion. So that's the considerable part of the university. We provide you the canteens for Muslims, you can enjoy the halal food. And also we equipped kitchen in your dormitory. If you don't want to go to the canteen, you want to make food yourself, you have your own like doubt uh, habit, habit, you can make food yourself in your dorm. And like, of course, share your food with your Muslim friends. That's all okay. Um, we're, so, we're so happy to hear that. I think uh, our viewers also are happy to know that. And um, next, uh, let me see what are they commenting. We, we, we can see that uh, many, many more comments are pumping out. And yes, okay. for the Chinese culture one, I the have Chin something to say. The Chinese culture? Yeah, you mentioned that mm -hmm. uh, there were some students who are interested in learning Chinese and Chinese culture, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So apart from the degree programs, we also provide one Chinese study language program. It wow. is a non-degree program. We have one semester one and mm -hmm. one academic year one. And uh, a good news is that this summer vacation, mm -hmm. we will organize a on-site on summer school for mm -hmm. the students to experience the Chinese culture, mm -hmm. Chongqing local culture, and uh, so we will also include some featured lectures, mm -hmm. uh, something like AI, 
chat GPT, something wow. like the hot <laughs> topics. So yeah. welcome to apply. <laughs> That's really nice, you guys. This is the, you must stay with you must be staying with us for much more time. You can see that this is a surprise that we have never expected. This is a summer school. Maybe later you will help hear about more good news about any other programs that pro, that is provided by the university. Summer school is kind of like my my dream program or my dreaming event because. In summer, you have holidays. Why not come here and learn Chinese as a new language and enjoy all the, you know, authentic culture, food, and make friends with the local people? This is kind of preview of your future university life in CQUPT. So, um, if you are interested in summer school, comment in our comment area or ask us more about the details. And apply for it. I'm sure you will not regret it when you come here. <laughs> and um, well, um, let's see uh, this question, dear teacher. This year I completed my graduation. I want to do a master degree in CSC scholarship from your university. How do I apply? Okay, many students uh, um, want to apply for CSC scholarship. I have some tips for you. Okay. Firstly, you need to log in CSC's website as well as CQPT's website to see all the requirements set by both institutes. And uh, secondly, you need to get well prepared for all these documents mm -hmm. and uh, remember to yeah. upload them to in the both systems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after we receiving your documents, we will have the uh, review mm -hmm. for them. Wow. Um, so I think uh, Ms. Zhang's answer is very thorough. And um, I think uh, this can answer your question, Dirk, right? Um, so here we can see many other questions. So uh, Natalia and Mr. Gao, if you have any answers you want to like tell our students online, you can also join us. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. um, so here, Lemon Boom, I'm interested in a I'm interested to apply for admission to study in CQUPT. I, and can I know the GPA requirement and the language requirement for the admission? I think, Natalia, you must be through this, right? When you applied for the university, you must have checked the standard. For sure. Yeah, so can you answer this question, can, like the GPA requirement and also the language requirement for the admission? Sure. First, I'm introducing myself. My name is Natalia and I come from Russia. Um, I would like to say uh, the procedure of applying for the university, I think it's pretty clear. Uh, you can see all the requirements. It's on the official side. So you guys won't have a problem. And uh, if we're talking about the uh, review of your language, um, I'm studying in Chinese. So you at least need to have HSK 5 for a master's degree so guys be ready for that study more prepare and about English I think you need to do IELTS exam and um, it should be uh, John Long sure she knows uh -huh. what the score is and because okay, I'm no not sure yeah so uh, as for the IELTS and other details Miss Zhang can supplement the answers of Natalia okay actually for the language requirement mm -hmm. it depends on the language you applied for if you want to enroll in a Chinese taught program, the requirements has been mentioned by Natalia, mm -hmm. HSK level five or above. Mm -hmm. And if you want to study in English, then you need to uh, provide the certificate of mm -hmm. IELTS or TOEFL examination. Mm -hmm. um, for master students, mm -hmm. the IELTS uh, should be reach uh, 6.0 mm -hmm. or above. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for uh, or you can provide the certificate of the English as the instruction language mm -hmm. in the previous uh, education. Mm -hmm. And for the GPA, I need to say that actually we don't have a very strict limitation about the GPA because in each country, in each di discipline, the mm -hmm. situation varies. Mm -hmm. uh, however, we will evaluate students' um, background mm -hmm. from a more comprehensive way, mm -hmm. uh, from different perspectives. For example, your educational background, the academic performance, the research experiences. 
Well, let's. Yeah, I I think uh, Miss John has answered this question in very in detail, and uh, I think uh, the university is also a very is very tolerant to students' GPA and language uh, language requirement. So uh, if you are gonna apply for this university, you can you can find this all the information you know in our Twitter or Facebook, and even in our official website. So. Uh, so first of all, I need to congratulations to all the students that you have already get the offer. I can see some are in the common area. And for those who are gonna apply for university, just prepare and work hard, study hard to, to meet the requirement and join us, join our university and come to this amazing city. Okay. <laughs> and um, next question is from Hu Yue, I think, Yue Hu. Um, are there any teaching opportunities in university for foreign hirings? Uh, what does this question mean? Are there any teaching opportunities in university for foreign hirings? You, you mean uh, when you graduate from university, can you keep teaching as a teacher in the university? Um, uh, it, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, we have some positions for international students, students mm -hmm. or graduates. For example, last year I heard that the School of Automation uh, hired or offered two positions mm -hmm. for our doctoral graduates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, in recent years, the Ministry of Education in China mm -hmm. also uh, is promoting the possibilities for international students to have some positions like assistants mm -hmm. in, the uh, in the administration departments in the university uh, while promoting this. Maybe we can wait for the further policies and the regulations. That's cool. So there are still opportunities and now we are promoting it. It means that we will be more open about in this area. So you guys can apply for the job if you are, of course, excellent enough. As Miss John just said, uh, last year we have this case, but yeah. uh, the, the students who got this position is a doctor, so you, you can see that um, we have we, we provide opportunities, but the the decision is made by you. I mean, uh, when you are qualified enough, yeah, you can get the job, you can get the posts. So, uh, so come on, guys, work hard if you are enrolled in this university and you will achieve your dream. And um, next, uh, how to apply Chinese language program for scholarship? Um, well, um, for uh, to be honest, mm -hmm. summer <laughs> for, school, right? Yeah, for the uh, non-degree study program, mm -hmm. we uh, have no scholarship for you. Uh -huh. But if you work hard, if you achieve, for example, HSK level five, mm -hmm. you can apply for the scholarship for the degree study program. <laughs> ah, I see. Since the summer is a wonderful season, and you can have fun here. So uh, we have more to provide other than the scholarship. Yeah. Maybe this experience is ma matters more and it can lay a good foundation for your future, you know, application for the degree study. So if you really want to apply for a scholarship, just put more, uh, pay more, pay more, much more attention to our degree study you will have opportunities or to study Chinese language inside, you know, within this program or so. So, um, so I think uh, it, we also answer these questions. Um, next question is from, wow, your name is so long. Pardon <laughs> me for like recognize all the characters. So, uh, <laughs> but I know your question, how good are your computer lab? Oh, computer lab this question can be answered perfectly by professor gao <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm a professor from computer science wow yeah. <laughs> so my major is uh, image processing and also uh, artificial intelligence so mm -hmm. if you would like to apply for the uh, the programs for the computer science, mm -hmm. please uh, contact me <laughs> yeah, because in my lab, yeah, there are several foreign students uh, now study the computer science. Yeah, uh, you can we we can work together 
uh, to develop some new systems wow. yeah, yeah, to improve our lives. Yeah. So okay. nice to hear that. So, uh, <laughs> Professor Gao, you now also have students? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. In my lab, there, there are over 100 students. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Because this is a key lab of the Chongqing. Uh, Chongqing key, la uh, key laboratories uh -huh. on the image cog uh, cognition. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, we are very happy to know that. <laughs> so you may not, you may not, uh, we may not have introduced the equipment of the computer lab. But as Professor Gao just said, this is the key computer lab in Chongqing municipality. So you can see how high the level is. So we, we will ensure you that this lab will satisfy all your needs for your study. And uh, if you are interested in this major, apply for, apply to become a student of Professor Gao. He's the president of the, this university. I think you will have a wonderful experience studying here, becoming a student of Professor Gao. <laughs> and um, well, another, questions is pumping out. We are having so many viewers, I think we're so happy to see many students that are willing to apply to the Chongqing University of Posts and Telecommunications. And here is another one. Professor acceptance is compulsory for master admission? Um, uh, the acceptance letter by mm -hmm. supervisors is not a uh, compulsory. Mm -hmm. If you have if you have one, that's better, mm -hmm. but it's not uh, compulsory for our uh, applicants. Mm -hmm. And actually the process is that you need to apply first and we will organize the interview. After you passing the interview, we will send your documents to the professors or, or the supervisors to see whether the research areas or the research field matches. Mm -hmm. That's very reasonable. So, uh... So Ohio, so Ohio, um, as Ms. Zhang just said, uh, the professor acceptance is not compulsory. So uh, just be brave and to apply. We will see if your research background matches the ad advisor or the professors, if uh, all the conditions meet the requirement. So you will be enrolled to the university. <laughs> and uh, next, Next, next. Wow, this question is very long, but uh, we're so happy. This is uh, a student from CQUPT, actually. Oh. I'm about graduating for master program in HUST and want to apply PhD to your university in major of cybersecurity major. I think that is the, you know, the, the, the best major, <laughs> right, <laughs> of the university. Can, can we share the contact of Professor Gao? <laughs> wow, uh, you know, you mean the personal contact? <laughs> uh, so first of all, uh, as a journalist here, I think um, we will provide the email of the admission office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you will contact Miss Zhang yeah, first. Con contact me first. Yeah, I will forward your documents to um, Professor Gao. <laughs> yeah, uh, because Mister, uh, Mister, because Professor Gao has of the work, it, it's, it's, it's not possible for him to cover all the, you know, business of the admission of international international students. That's why we have the admission officer and yeah. the admission <laughs> office. So your document and your questions will be, go straight, will we'll go straight to Ms. Zhang. And if, if, if it's necessary for Ms. Uh, Professor Gao to know or to, you know, to process, we will see. Mm -hmm. So uh, another one is, is this, this question is also from Taha Akbar. Hello, Professor. Professor, you are so popular in today's <laughs> live stream. <laughs> um, hello, Professor, I'm AI enthusiast. I'm currently working as ML intern in software called CACF and I apply I apply thought Chinese government scholarship and I will get notification. Well, so confident. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a question. This is a, this is a notice from you, dear Taha. We are so happy to hear that. And our professor is also so happy to know that. Uh, we hope that you got your notification soon and 
so that you can have the scholarship and join this big family, this university. We're so happy to meet friends, the future friends or the future students in CQUPT. And um, uh, let, let's grow to the bottom to see other questions. Uh, here is this one. I'm looking, I'm looking to go into an Internet of Things degree at CQUPT. Is there any way I can contact the professor at least the, this, this program or maybe other pro professors, right? Okay, yeah, Internet of Things is a major under the School of Automation. And uh, after this live streaming, mm -hmm. we will organize the other live streaming and introduction mm -hmm. by each school wow. so they can wait for the follow-up information and at that time professor wei Ming, the mm -hmm. vice dean of school of automation mm -hmm. will come and introduce internet of things so please follow us <laughs> so as as you as you just heard follow us uh, yeah today we are introducing the university in the overall way so you guys can like have an overview of this university of course we have many uh thorough question many questions answered thoroughly and that as for your question the internet of things this is the uh individual school of cqpt and uh the responsible professor uh she or he uh it, he he's hey, not hey, here today Professor but don't worry we will have another live stream uh about this school and other schools that you are interested in um so don't <laughs> just follow us don't switch the channel and we will notify you the following live stream lectures so you guys can know more about uh other schools of cqupt and pick one that you are interested in um yeah <laughs> we are so fruitful today as we have met so many viewers who are interested in university and we have miss Zhang and natalia and professor gao answering all the questions so clearly so you guys must have you know you are lucky today <laughs> uh let me see we have new comment we have a lot of comments today, you know, much more than usual. So we can see the charm of this university and the popularity of this university, you know, uh, globally. Here is next one, next question. I applied for advanced manufacturing, mechanical engineering, and I, I sent an email to the admission office to return my application to update some documents, but no response from them yet. Okay, mm -hmm. because I'm here right now. <laughs> so after this live streaming, I will uh, mm -hmm. respond to your email. And please provide the application number when we send the email. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we cannot find your uh, application because the application number is missing. So make sure that, that information is included in your email. Mm -hmm. So uh, Ismail? So, uh, you you don't you don't have to worry. Yeah, after the live stream, Miss John will answer your email. And uh, if if uh, if there is any problem of email of you, or you like you wait too long and you still don't get the email, you can like send a follow up email to the to to Miss John or to the like official email box so that uh, we can see that you are like in the priority or in front of all the emails. I think every day, Ms. John will receive many emails. Yeah, thousands of emails come mm -hmm. every day. And we have um, some contacts. Maybe mm -hmm. you can share the slides. Uh, if you cannot get response from one uh, way, you can try some other ways. For mm -hmm. example, you can call us. You can send us the messages, leave us messages in the Twitter, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have this kind of accounts. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, you can you guys you can screenshot this this uh, this page. You can see that we have WeChat official account, Facebook, Twitter, and email, and even telephone number. If if one way doesn't work out, just try another way. And we will also, you know, the teachers and the admission officers will also check the email and to reply to your you know your questions or your emails. 
soon, as soon as possible. So Ismail, I think uh, Ms. Zhang's answer is very satisfying and uh, just wait uh, a little bit more and after live stream, you may see the reply in your email box. Remember to check it. Um, next, 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 next. Um, wow. Wow, so many comments. I, I don't want to let all of you down. So <laughs> continue. <laughs> continue to read it. Uh, this one. Wow, this is a paragraph. Uh, I already applied for a master's degree in the field, uh, in the field of software engineering, but still now my application state to status, I think my application status is in processing, but no update. I want to know how the university process the application and recruit students. Currently, I'm studying in Kunming. Well, this this the students is already in China. And next gen, next June 15th, he will pursue his BSc degree in computer science from Southwest Forestry University, Kunming. Uh, Xinan Lingye Dashu. Um, I'm I'm not so sure about this question. So, uh, Hakim, are, do you mean that you have applied for the master degree in CQUPT and currently you are studying in Kunming, right? Uh, maybe he will graduate this summer. Yeah. And he wanna in, uh, continue his study in CQUPT mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. September. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for the timeline, actually. This year, because we have a lot of applicants, mm -hmm. so we divided the processing into different batches. Mm -hmm. We just finished the first batch. Mm -hmm. So maybe you applied a little bit later. <laughs> so you will be in the second batch and that will be start. That will be start uh, about maybe two weeks later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you mean that uh, within two weeks, the student mm -hmm. will receive the update, right? Yeah, for example, the invitation for uh, for the interview. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, you will receive your update. You will see the update within two weeks. I think maximum, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> within so, April. <laughs> okay. And next um, is from Antana. Can you tell us about any unique features or traditions of this university? Well, Bo, I who will answer this question? <laughs> <laughs> the tradition and the feature, the unique feature and tradition of the university. What makes this university so special from other universities in Chongqing? Yeah, first, I, I think the location is uh, unique. <laughs> yeah, because the U CQUPT is located in the mountain Nanshan, mm -hmm. yeah, surrounded by the greeneries and the flowers so mm -hmm. it's a it's a forest park park mm -hmm. yeah in, in Chongqing mm -hmm. yeah second is a it's a long history uh, yeah we have over 73 three years old wow so, yeah yeah we focus on the uh, posts and telecommunication mm -hmm. so in this field I, I think we we are mm -hmm. we are the the top four mm -hmm. top four uh, universities in China mm -hmm. so welcome to uh, cool. So, uh, as M Professor Gao just mentioned, the university is in the mountain. But I want to clarify. I, 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 I'm, I, I worry that maybe some viewers may misunderstand. Mm -hmm. You know, in the mountain doesn't the university in the mountain doesn't mean that it's a very remote from the city center, as uh, as Chongqing is a mountainous city. Yeah. So a mountain is like a town. You have everything yeah, 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 right. on that mountain. Yeah. For example, the restaurants and you know the place you can have fun and mm. many, many wonderful sites for you to visit and even the uh, like uh, many museums and even like uh, gardening place. And um, for me, I really like that I, because I like the mall there. The mall there is not just a uh, mall with selling. It's a it's perfectly integrated with nature. For example, you can find a tea house in the mountain, on top of the mountain, you know, built in a forest. Wow, that's really cool. And you can also have fun with friends, like in some amusement 
maybe in amusement places, for example, the karaoke or the <laughs> restaurant or any other place to hang out with your friends. As I mentioned, you can enjoy the vibrant city life in that mountain, also enjoy the tranquility of nature. Let's that's something that you cannot find in other cities in China. I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, I also I also want to add. You actually, it seems like you're studying in the national park. It's a beautiful, wow. really beautiful place, and you know, lots. I have friends in Chongqing, and recently, like the. Uh, March and April, it's a blossoming season, right? Mm -hmm. And lots of friends were asking, can we actually go inside the campus and watch <laughs> the blossoming? Because it's really beautiful. So you will definitely enjoy it. And the girls and everyone's just taking pictures and uh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we have all answered your question. You, When you come here, you will feel yourself the uniqueness of this university. And um, next question, I want to know about MBA program in CQUPT. MBA program? Well, unfortunately, we don't have MBA for mm -hmm. international students, mm -hmm. um, but we do have one uh, management and uh, science and engineering. Um, just as uh, Natalia enrolled, mm -hmm. she enrolled in this major. Mm -hmm. Maybe later she will share her story, her study with you. Okay, yes. So, uh, Lahib, if you want to study MBA program in CQPT, well, <laughs> it's not possible uh, right uh, for now. And uh, because the university mainly focuses on science and technology, later during the interview with Natalia, you will know more. Um, next question, yes. Uh, here. So uh, generally I have showed all your comments and questions regarding today's you know, live stream uh, regarding the university and the program for international students. And we're up going to enter our next part. That is the mini interview between me and Natalia. So you guys can have a glimpse of uh, how the university life will be like in this university and how Natalia feel during the past like about two years, right? Um, I was enrolled in mm -hmm. 2021, but because of pandemic, mm -hmm. I came here last May. Mm -hmm. So I've been here less than a year, but I do truly fall in love with the city. I uh, the Chongqing, I think it's a really unique place. And I don't know, for my surprise, not many foreigners know about. Mm -hmm. So it's a really beautiful combination between like high development, uh, traditional culture and nature. You literally out of our campus, campus there are like lots of places to mm -hmm. uh, hike. So guys, you are welcome to come. And if we're talking about the people, they are very friendly and, mm -hmm. you know, um, as you mentioned, it's a mountain city, right? And sometimes yeah. it's really hard to find the roads, even for the local people. Mm -hmm. And uh, for foreigners, it's pretty hard. And sometimes you're asking the locals and they will be like, okay, I will just take you there. So they just take you and show the road and show the place which you're looking for. So very, very nice, very friendly. Yeah, I totally understand it because I'm not from Chongqing either. <laughs> I came here like two years ago. Wow, this city really amazes, amazed me and I want to stay here like for the rest of my life. And I want, <laughs> then I find a career here. So there's no reason for me to leave. Well, this is the typical city in China that you cannot find in other place. As Natalia just mentioned, it's a combination of modern and tradition and also uh, the city life and the nature. Well, um, as for the university life, could you share with us some interesting stories? Uh, interesting story. Like recently, we mm -hmm. international students, we had um, an activity held by our university mm -hmm. and we went to our tea plantation mm -hmm. and picking the tea. <laughs> and uh, uh, we were actually learning traditional Chinese uh, tea ceremony, which yeah. has like history of maybe uh, thousands of years. 
And uh, yeah, it was really amazing. Like people from all over the world, mm -hmm. like students, myself included, we were trying to learn this like procedures with numerous steps, how to proper serve the tea. And uh, we were like so fascinated and, uh, and confused in the same time because it's so <laughs> many steps you should follow. Mm -hmm. uh, but all of us like really enjoyed um, this beautiful ceremony, Chinese um, tea ceremony. Wow, that's I uh, to be honest, I envy you about that. <laughs> I haven't attended any like ceremony like this. So as the, as Natalia just said, well, studying here is not only about your major. You will experience all the cultures of Chongqing, even China, and you can even like uh, experience yourself and you can uh attend those universe, those activities and do it yourself, do some hands-on work and yeah. truly feel the vibe of the culture here. So that's also a bonus. And uh, I think all the inter international students have the opportunity to be invited to join those kind of events, right? Yeah, for sure. And it's not always um, like tea ceremony or something, mm -hmm. the culture, because today, for example, mm -hmm. we held uh, also one of the activity is a mm -hmm. sport activity, uh -huh. which unfortunately I couldn't uh, uh, join because we have a live stream. But everyone is actually in the morning at 830. They're already at the stadium and uh -huh. be ready for a competition it is actually really nice because it's between uh, uh, international and Chinese students. Mm -hmm. So everyone can have a, this interaction and uh, to understand like their the cultures from uh, all over the world. That's a really attracting. <laughs> yeah, but, welcome. but have, I have already graduated. If I had the opportunity, if I were like 18 years old or like I, I, I definitely applied like universities in Chongqing, this amazing city. But I think it's fine for me because now I work here. I mm, can also sure. enjoy and, um, you know, to uh, to see the beauty of this city. And um, uh, I have other another question sure. is that uh, as, as since you have been enrolled in, in, in this university, uh, you must have many like suggestions or encouragement to the students who are gonna apply for this university. Do you have anything to say to them? Sure. Um, first of all, I think um, you guys had really need to go through the uh, procedures, how to apply, and it's pretty straightforward. You just need to really go through step by steps and follow this procedure. It's not really hard and just patiently wait for an acceptance letter or for the interview. They will follow up. You don't need to worry about this. And I think the people who enroll in um, uh, CQPT and now university, they have a chance not only to advance their like skills, uh, mm -hmm. which has conducted to their professional mm -hmm. career. But they also have their lots of opportunity to like navigate through this culture, mm -hmm. learn uh, a totally different environment, and they can find uh, friends from different um, uh, place of the world. And they also have a huge opportunity to learn Chinese mm -hmm. and to be able to speak the one of the hardest language <laughs> in the world yeah of course you have the language environment when you arrive yeah. here and so just now uh during the conversation with miss Zhang, we had met we have mentioned that your major so could you please introduce more about your major and like um tell tell us more uh, uh, sure uh my major is management science and mm -hmm. engineering as one of the top majors in our mm -hmm. university um and this majors, um, I think it's give you a chance to choose from the diverse specializations and you can actually understand the big picture, you know, mm -hmm. big picture of this world and learn how to apply engineering methods in different kinds of businesses and do the problem solving. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's a, also one of the best um, major because it's a really beautiful combination before uh, between management and engineering mm -hmm. so um if you are also interested in this major yeah just apply apply mm -hmm. for this major so it will be the maybe this uh like a classmates or the, mm -hmm. the junior classmate yeah, yeah. Sure, junior. <laughs> <laughs> of natalia uh and uh as we can see the time really flies um 
we're so happy to have you guys here. Now we are arriving at the end of today's live stream. If you have further questions regarding the international student program or the scholarship policies or anything you want, anything that you are curious about this university, feel free to contact us. I just showed all the conf uh, all the contact informations here. Um, maybe we can switch to that slide. Yeah. You can uh, take a screenshot of this page, this slide, so that you can have our contacts. You can contact us anytime. Um, and um, once again, I want to express, express my gratitude to all the teachers, the leaders, and the students joined in our live stream studio. I know you guys come all the way here. Mm -hmm. It's very, uh, it takes time, and we're so happy that we have presented you a thorough and wonderful presentation about this university. As Ms. Zhang just mentioned, we will have other live stream lectures for you about the individual school of. CQUPT. If you are interested, follow us, stay with us, and pay attention or uh, uh, pay attention to our live stream preview so you guys won't miss any other key information. Um, so, so we are arriving at the end of today's live stream. If you like today's live stream, give us a like or tell, tell it or re retweet it to your friends and families or even other students who are interested in that. We will be appreciated for that. So um, I think this is the end. <laughs> uh, we will say goodbye and we will see you next time. This is Nick. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>